Everybody got one. Yeah? Yeah. Was it just to say like, hey, great job. Was no. that why they gave it to you? No. No? Why did they give it to you? Because I'm the best. <laughs> Everybody's the best. Everybody's the best. It's true. It's yeah. a fact. Look it up. story time but also warning if you get grossed out by medical teeth stuff a few days ago actually i think it was like last week last monday i got a gingivectomy which is where the dentist cuts out with a laser tool some of your gum i saved up for it i paid for it myself basically for a while i just was kind of insecure about my smile because it was very like lopsided one side had a lot more gum than the other side and so anytime I smiled, it just looked like my teeth were super lopsided. I didn't really like that. So I got it last Monday. The recovery was nothing. I was just numb for a few hours and I had to go to my tutorial like right away after. I don't know if my friend Addie's watching this, but it was funny, we were in chemistry class. I brought in a smoothie and I was like trying to drink it through the straw, but this whole half of my mouth was completely numb. It was really hard to sip through the straw because my mouth was numb. And so like sucking was pretty much impossible. Yeah, I got that surgery recently. I also got a car recently, which was the biggest shock. I did not think I was gonna get one. Basically my parents, our rule was I have to pay for it. They just really value us like working hard for something that we want and then paying for ourselves. So like I bought my phone, that changed back to me and then my car. By the way, like my parents pay for all of my necessary things. Those bigger purchases, they want us to save up for, which I appreciate because it gives me a reason to work hard and I think it's just more rewarding, you know? So anyway, I did not think I was gonna get it cause kind of been slacking on saving, unfortunately. I can either get a dump car or I can just save until I'm like 17, get a car then. That was kind of what I had decided and been preparing for and then my mom went on a beach trip and whenever she got back my dad went to go pick her up at our friend's house and then they came back and my mom texted me and was like hey can you come out and help me unload things from the car and i was like yeah of course so i go outside and my mom is holding up keys and she's like it's not a minivan because we had talked about me getting a minivan that was my budget i was jumping up and down for 10 minutes. I was so excited. Actually, probably five because I got in the car immediately and started driving around with my mom. This is a Toyota Highlander. It's an older version, but I'm so excited and I don't have to sell all of my limbs to pay for it, which is really nice. So I'm very excited about that. And we've been driving it around a lot. I get my license midway through October. I can put in a little screenshot of what it, what it looks like. Those are kind of the two bigger updates. Perfecto mundo. actually my dad's birthday so him and I are about to go for a little drive which I'm excited about so I'll try to film some of it.
All right, my first is Zambian, it Zambian? Zambian chip. You no, know, if you smell it, it actually... smells like dog food. <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Chutneys. That's, That's the one way to sell something. <laughs> That's what it says. I'm is serious. This is <laughs> oh my gosh. A little bit. <laughs> Some fruit chips. Sure. Reese, you know the Miss Vicky's brand? You were eating yeah. them the other day. Uh -huh. They have a flavor that, that tastes like this. Yeah. I like that one the most. That doesn't... Oh, you do? I did that. It doesn't taste sweet. This one, you can't get those in America. Wow. That's yeah. cool. <laughs> I asked him. I was like, Christian, do they all come okay. this crushed or is that because of the no. flavor? <laughs> he was like, no, that's because of the they, flavor. <laughs> they take a bat. Hey. And... You ready for the last one? I think so. Okay. Is this like really bad? No, 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 What, how do they know it's sizzling Texas barbecue? Or isn't this Zambia? Yeah. Do they have like a researcher go to? Probably, probably not. Because well, it doesn't really taste anything like flavor, it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's in the bathroom. Bathroom. You might want to try this in the bathroom. in the bathroom? No, it's okay. Just try it. Are you serious? Just try it. Just try it. No, I don't. Just try it. Okay, hold on. I'm going to have this little one first. It smells like, it tastes like a part of potty smells. <laughs> I can't smell that again. I literally like yeah. barf. Oh, it's so bad. Okay, now just... you get some candy. Oh, good, candy. good, good. All night, Ava's going to be like. <laughs> She's funny. Is that okay. authentic Zambian hair? <laughs> Is that mine? What? It's probably your guys's. <laughs> well, we were smelling it. Sorry. No, no that's, that's red. Reese's. That's red. <laughs> they don't, they were, oh, you, that, it turned into a table. What did you think it was? <laughs> Sword? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>
I we went to it's called uh, honest coffee roasters and then five daughters donuts I still have a lot of pastries I got there that was really fun my sister went off to go pet sit and I'm just sitting in the car editing a little bit it's been a really fun weekend I still need to do a lot of school so though it's been like fun <laughs> I still have a lot of school to do I have a project to do or like an essay to write on the Big Bang which is not going to be very hard because I already have done studies on it I have like pages full of my research from the Big Bang and just like what those type of like what that belief system implies and then how to combat it using scripture and science and history and all that stuff but I'm gonna get back to uh, all my to-do list stuff and yeah I'll talk to you guys later It has been quite a while since I last filmed. I started this vlog, I think September 1st, and it is now September 21st, so it's taken me a while to finish this video, which I'm sorry about, and I feel really bad for not posting very frequently lately. I think my last video was like two months ago with Felicia Meisenheimer, and I just feel really bad, but I've never been this busy before, and I just am slammed. Sophomore year of high school has been very very busy but it's all been really fun very good and i wanted to end out this vlog with filming a little bit of a bible study i always want to in every single one of my videos whether it's a vlog or whatever it is topical video i want to elevate scripture and lead you back towards that so i thought it would be really good to read proverbs 19 because i read this a few days ago and it was very convicting I'm just gonna read it and then stop whenever something comes up that I think is very notable. Also, I did not plan this before, so if you wanna pull out your Bibles, feel free to do that. Better the poor whose walk is blameless than a fool whose lips are perverse. Desire without knowledge is not good. How much more will hasty feet miss the way? A person's own folly leads to their ruin, yet their heart rages against the Lord. Wealth attracts many friends, but even the closest friend of the poor person deserts them. A false witness will not go unpunished, and whoever pours out lies will not go free. Many curry, many curry favor with a ruler, and everyone is a friend to one who gives gifts. Okay, I'm gonna stop there real fast because that was convicting to me. Something I used to struggle with was trying to earn my friend's love and um, like trying to win my place in my friend's life by giving them gifts. And I did this because I just didn't think who I was as a person was valuable enough and I needed other things to make them stay my friend. started thinking about it and I was like, wow, that really comes out of selfish ambition. And if you're staying friends with someone because they give you things, then your heart is not in the right place. And if you're giving things to people because you want them to stay your friend, then that's also out of selfish ambition. And there's other manipulation that is going on that's like deeper than surface level. I wanted to point that out real fast because that's where I was like, wow, I really used to struggle with that. And that's something that the Holy Spirit kind of had to pry out of me and convict me of for the past few years. So wanted to make that a note in case you relate to that. But starting back in verse seven, the poor are shunned by all their relatives. How much more do their friends avoid them? That's kind of goes in correlation with chapter or verse six. Though the poor pursue them with pleading, they are found nowhere. The one who gets wisdom loves life. The one who cherishes understanding will soon prosper. A false witness will not go unpunished and whoever pours out lies will perish. This is said twice in the same chapter, word for word. So chapter five and chapter nine say the same thing, which means you should definitely hold on to that. And that's a very important and noteworthy thing to just hold on to. Ooh, that scared me. Our air conditioning unit went on. Hopefully you can still hear me. Okay, just in case the audio is terrible, I'm going to have my phone be the microphone. Starting back in verse 10, it says, it is not fitting for a fool to live in luxury. How much worse for a slave to rule over a princess? A person, a person's wisdom yields patience. It is to one's glory to overlook an offense. Ooh, that's really good. A king's rage is like a roar of a lion, but his favor is like dew on the grass. A foolish child is a father's ruin, and a quarrelsome wife is 
like constant is like the constant dripping of a leaky roof. Houses and wealth are inherited from parents, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. Laziness brings on deep sleep, and the shiftless go hungry. Whoever keeps commandments brings their life, but whoever shows contempt for their ways will die. Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord, and he will reward them for what they have done. Discipline your children, for in that there is hope. Do not be a willing party to their death. Oh, that's so good. A hot-tempered person must pay the penalty. Rescue them, and you'll have to do it again. Listen to advice. Sorry, the wind. Listen to advice and accept discipline, and at the end, you will be counted among the wise. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. What a person desires is unfailing love. Better to be poor than to be a liar. The fear of the Lord leads to life, and the one who rests contently is untouched by trouble. A sluggard buries his hand in the dish. He will not even bring it back to his mouth. Flog a mocker, and the simple will learn prudence. Rebuke the discerning, and they will gain knowledge. Whoever robs their father and drives out their mother is a child who brings shame and disgrace. Stop listening to instruction, my son, and you will stray from the words of knowledge. A corrupt witness mocks at justice, and the mouth of the wicked gulps down evil. Penalties are prepared for the mockers and beatings for the backs of fools. Okay, that concludes chapter 19 of Proverbs. I highly recommend you read it for yourself and read on. Something that I really like to do is since there's 31 chapters in Proverbs and 30-ish days in the month, I just like to take each day, whatever the date is, I like to correlate that with whatever proverb chapter and then read that per day. Hopefully that makes sense, but just correlate whatever day it is with a chapter of Proverbs and then make that like your devotional in scripture. And then of course, read further in another book, like in the New Testament to kind of get like both Old Testament and New Testament in your Bible reading per day, which I love to do, but that's something, I mean, it's the book of wisdom. So just to start your day off with some wisdom, it's just a good thing to kind of chew on all day and be able to articulate. I also want to recommend some things. So this is called the Bible Recap by Tara Lee Koppel, who I adore, but it's just a easy, comprehensive summary of whatever you read in scripture that day. And it has you know, passages at the top of the page, and then it gives you the context, historical context, and then just a little bit more theological knowledge that's like extended from what you read. So she just summarizes it really well. If you have a hard time staying on track with what you're reading and just need someone to like retell it to you in a short way that makes sense, I highly recommend Terry Lee Koppel. She has a podcast. It's just called The Bible Recap. Could kind of be compared to, uh, what's it called? The Bible project on uh youtube which is like the illustrations that follow whatever you read in the bible that day i would go over to spotify or apple music or podcast wherever you listen to podcasts right now and just look up proverbs 19 the bible recap and then it's like five minutes and it'll just give you a little bit more understanding of what we read together but thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for hopefully more videos to come soon i hope that you liked this one let me know if you want more morning routine vlogs or if you would rather me stay just more apologetics which i love both so i'm totally good with whatever the answer is or if you want a little bit of a mix and match like i'm doing right now anyway you can follow me on instagram or donate to my generosity rocks page which is a tax deductible nonprofit organization that helps me continue my ministry here. Uh, I also have a clay earring shop, which I have been adding a lot of new designs lately. So I'll leave that in the description along with a coupon code so you can get some money off as a thanks for watching this video. Anyway, I'm gonna go film a Q&A right now. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.